Imagine, mankind only has a few years left to live. Why? Pollinators. Pollinators are animals that transfer pollen from one part of a plant to another. This pollen then fertilizes the plant and allows the plant to create fruits and seeds. Common pollinators include honeybees, bumblebees, solitary bees, wasps, beetles, flies, hoverflies, and butterflies. There are a lot of pollinators out there. Here are some frightening statistics. 90% of wild flowering plants and 75% of leading food crops are dependent to varying extents on pollinator-mediated fertilization. This was reported by the Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, known as the IPBES. Therefore, the IPBES has acted by creating a new party to tackle the decline in pollinators. The US Department of Agriculture reported that honeybee hives have decreased by 3.5 million from 1940 to 2017. Bug Life, the Invertebrate Conservation Trust, reported that 38% of hoverflies and bees are in decline in the EU. In fact, the British Association for Psychopharmacology says that around 250 types of UK pollinators are at risk of extinction. How would you feel without the bees on earth? I know you hate the sting, but they are essential for food production. But what causes the pollinators to become extinct in the first place? First, deforestation. Deforestation has increased due to the drastic growth of the human population and its needs. Eventually, it leads to degradation and destruction of habitat for the pollinators. The UNEP's 2018 global survey says that 31% of threats for pollinator population is caused by fragmentation of habitat. The second factor for the decline in pollinators is climate change. The use of non-renewable energy resources, such as fossil fuels, cause climate change, which results in the 14% of the demise of our buzzy friends. The third factor, chemicals and pesticides. Bee killing chemicals and pesticides used in farming and gardening cause a 23% loss of our pollinating pals. Lack of conservation efforts, insufficient research, pests, pathogens, parasites, pollution, and non-native species all add up to an apocalypse for our tiny but necessary eco-saviors. So how is mankind helping the pollinators now? Many organizations such as, such as Bug Life have started projects to save the pollinators. These projects include creating bee banks, improving management of grassland, and planting flowering trees. Sounds simple, doesn't it? However, this is not enough, because if we want to make a change, then every single person must help. The small projects carried out by insect-loving organizations are not enough. It will require the help of every human on Earth to make a difference. So how can we save the pollinators? We can fill our gardens with pollen-rich plants, such as lavenders, pansies, and begonias, to encourage the pollinators to visit. The Pesticide Action Network is an international coalition which opposes pesticide use. It has branches in the North America and in the UK, known as Pan UK. We can financially support Pan UK and similar organizations to stop everyone from using bee killing chemicals and pesticides. We must prevent deforestation by recycling wood and supporting charities that want to halt deforestation, such as Cool Earth and Rainforest Foundation UK. We must support and use Escozia, an internet browser that uses its profits to plant trees around the world. We must use renewable energy resources, such as solar, 
tidal and wind energy. We must assist in the development of conservation of invertebrates by participating in activities to maintain bee colonies, such as beekeeping. I myself have participated in beekeeping, and not only was it a buzzing experience, but I also got some fresh honey out of it. So what is the effect? A famous quote attributed to the late, great Albert Einstein states, if the bee disappeared of the face of the earth, man would only have four years left to live. This shows just how serious this matter is. If pollinators become extinct, humans and other animals will be at risk of extinction. This is why on the 20th of May, 2019, the United Nations held the first ever International World Bee Day. As well as World Bee Day, the UN urged countries to prioritize pollinator protection at the United Nations Conference on Biological Diversity. It is clear then that the international goal is to stop pollinators from becoming extinct. I hope you now have a better insight into the key role pollinators play in nature, and you will try your best to stop them from becoming extinct. Time is running out. Let's save the pollinators. <laughs>